the Voxel Flight with the Gen 1.5 UART ESC. It's hooked up to Voxel Flight's J1002 port and it's essentially a three wire uh, UART here or two wire UART ground and two wires and uh, I think pins two and three between the, the ESC and Voxel Flight flip. Uh, we'll have a pin out for that somewhere else. Uh, I hooked up to Q ground control over Wi-Fi and I have a, a serial port connected uh, down here. So I'll, I'll quickly go through, um, show some parameters. The uh, uh, param show UR underscore ESC star. And this is gonna show us the UR ESC parameters in PX4. Main one here is ESC config. Uh, by default, that's set to zero, which will uh, make it so that the standard outputs used, which is uh, PWM, uh, typically it could be D, D shot, um, but setting this to one will set it to uh, have uh, J1002 enabled to communicate with the, the ESC. The other uh, params here are for motor mapping. It's the motors one through four, you could uh, set up um, such that the, the actual motor mapping config is correct uh, for um, the PX4 configuration. Uh, you could throw a negative value on here and it'll make the motor spin backwards uh, or forwards if the wires are backwards. Um, you also set the min and max RPM to get a full scale range that, that, that you want for the throttle. And then if the baud rate's different in the ESC, you could set, set that here too. Um, so the uh, the source code lives in PX4 right now in a branch um, of ours under uh, driver, source drivers, UART ESC, Moodle AI ESC, and it creates a program that gets installed on PX4, uh, Moodle AI underscore ESC. So I'll walk through a few of those commands right now. Uh, this will spin motor one with a 5500 RPM. Motor one should be up here, so it should be one, two, three, four. That's motor one, motor two. Motor three, motor four. You also set a, a PWM signal uh, or a PWM command instead of an RPM command. Here's motor one. Um, and the tone command. And then you can also set the LEDs, or uh, test the LEDs. Uh, it's a bitwise mask, a 12 bit uh, to get the 12 different combinations of RGB. Um, so he's like, um, red, and you can reset the ESC individually. Um, so we'll start PX4 over again. So it's it's using some of the PX4 LED uh, nomenclature, you could say. So it's breathing blue right now. It's for us. It's just flashing blue. Um, and when we go to manual flight mode, it'll go solid blue. Uh, when it goes into uh, uh, position control, it'll go solid green, and then offboard mode will go solid red. And those those could be tweaked later, but that's that's what we have for right now. So um, I'm hooked up through Q ground control up here, so you're gonna hear uh, the Q ground control robot talk. You're armed. Go to position control. Position flight mode. Kind of bails out. Disarmed. We're sitting still. So we'll start up again. Manual flight mode. Armed. We'll go to offboard mode. Offboard flight mode. Low battery level. Return advised. Critical battery level. Landing advised. Dangerous battery level. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 